So I'm going to show a quick clip of the attack I'm going to show today. It's a really effective attack when the guy's got his elbows tight, stalling on like both knees or one knee up. All right, guys, so let's get into it. So, so uh, again, we're kind of going off the far side collar sleeve series. So I can get to it a few ways from the lasso, from the spider, from daily Kiva. But basically, we get to this position. You can come around this side. With the leg past the body, and we have the collar, right? So in this case, the guy's coming down to one knee up or both knees, right? So sometimes here it can be hard. Even if you kick through for the omoplata, it's really easy for them to kind of pull away from it, right? So in this case, we're kind of keeping that shin on the inside of his elbow space here between his ribs. If your elbow's outside, it's hard to dig for that underhook to get to the attack we're going for, right? So we're just trying to keep the shin in here, right? In my previous videos, I talk about this a lot. If you didn't see them, uh, check them out, right? So from here, I have this in tight. So once I'm here, I have this cross collar. I can pull him in really close, and all I'm gonna look for is to dig this underhook. Once I get in here, I start pulling this tight. I'll get my leg on the other side of the head, I have two ways I'm going to try to finish this. Once I go here, if he just stays like this, I can switch up to a Kimura and go for this finish really easy. More commonly, what will happen is once you get this underhook and start to go, he's going to dig his hand in to try to, to start uh, defending the Kimura. From there, we're going to take the top arm and shoot through here. Once I shoot through here, I just grab my own thigh right above the knee. And at this point, as I rotate in towards the center and this leg comes up, it acts in the same way as a Kimura. It's a shoulder lock, right? So that's gonna turn, he's gonna roll. We come up here, I want my foot to go underneath. And from here, it's really easy to just push the hip forward and finish right there, right? You get a strong shoulder lock position. There's a lot of positions you can set this up from. It's called a Tariko Plata. It was made popular by a guy in the, uh, from Frontline in Norway, uh, Tariq Hopstock. Uh, but it's a position that's popping up a lot more commonly in jiu-jitsu, and you can get to it from a lot of positions, right? So again, maybe I'm last of spider, I break past the body, go for the cross collar where I'm doing the normal attacks. He goes to one knee up or both knees. Okay, I just kind of stalling here, it's tough. So look, I just try to create that separation with my knee and dig that underhook. I pull the collar in to get him close. I get my leg on the other side of the head, and I start to dig through. As I go for the Kimura, he gets his hand in. I pull the left arm, the top arm through. Grab my own thigh right there, come out, and I start to rotate up. Come up through, hand post, shoot this leg through, and just push the hip forward and get the top down. Uh, if you guys like the content, please subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram, at John Thomas BJJ. Uh, I put a lot of stories up of what we're working on in the gym, so you get kind of a glimpse into the training style we do at the gym and some of the new techniques we're developing. Also, I just added uh, playlists on my channel, so there's a lot of uh, videos that I put out now that uh, are built on a series. So the titles, you know, usually to get uh, new people to find out about the channel, I have a little bit more catchy titles, but I like to have things organized. So on the playlist, I have sections for like side control escape or pin escapes, uh, like far side collar sleeve series, spider guard series, guard retention. So uh, check it out. All right, guys. Thanks a lot.